Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to London. This afternoon was, is a sombre afternoon here in London. Now I know many of my viewers are from all around the world, not just here in London. So for those of you not keeping up to date with current affairs, global current affairs, we wait for this ambulance to go past. For those of you not keeping up with global current affairs, this afternoon there was breaking news that an attack had taken place on the British House of Parliament, which is just down here. Um, a suspected terror attack. I looked at police reports just before I turned on the camera and um, they were saying that Four people had died, one of which was a police officer inside the grounds of the Houses of Parliament, um, and at least 20 people had been injured. Um, what I thought I would do is share with you, I guess, the live reality. Um, what you will see, what I've seen um, on the news is often quite sensational. Um, and sadly, I've lived through a number of these and um, the aftermath is usually pretty sim similar. And that is people going about their day-to-day -day lives, which is a necessity, but I guess in a quiet, more quiet, more subdued manner. Um, and that's what's happening tonight. Um, you can hear, it's pretty quiet. People just walking about, I guess, reflecting on um, what's happened. And I guess for a lot of people thinking, there for the grace of God go I. But yeah, the streets are, I mean I'm heading, towards Westminster. The streets are a little quiet, I'll show you. A lot of police. I'm not sure how close I'll be able to get to Westminster, um, the Palace of Westminster. I understand it's still on lockdown. There's helicopters above. A lot of London will be on lockdown. Um, I think the MPs were locked in for hours um, and in, uh, locked into the um, Westminster Abbey over the road. Um, now probably stay like that for some time. But um, see how far we can get down here, maybe cut across um, into St James's Park down to Embankment. Um, now obviously you'll have access, if you're watching this live, you'll have access to um, breaking news, breaking events. Um, so let me know if anything uh, goes on. I need to turn around rather than walking further into the eye of the storm. Yeah, a lot of the uh, roads are closed.
hopefully I can get down to where the news crews are because the news crews won't have any um, greater access than anyone else. Um, uh, and uh, I can share with you the 360 degree view of what's going on because they tend to be stationary with their own narrative. Let's see if I can read some of these comments. They go quite quickly. But yeah, let me know if anything weird happens. I'm pretty confident it won't. Like I say, I've lived through quite a number of similar events. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I'm sure by the morning, London will dust itself off again. Be quite reflective, but I'm sure the news right now is painting a picture of uh, panic and um, fear, which, as you can see, doesn't exist. Sadness, and I guess for people that may be visiting. Might be a little bit scared but sadly I've lived with this all my life. Helicopters up above. Right we're heading down to um, Westminster Abbey's in front of me. London Eye in front of me. Um, presumably a police cordon somewhere. get comments up on this. Pushing buttons here. This is only my second live broadcast. I'm not entirely uh, sure how it functions, but yeah, I'll keep on heading down here. See how close we can get to the uh, Palace of Westminster. I'll show you Big Ben, you can just about see it. You can see the um, Westminster Abbey in front of me. You can, I'll show you. Okay, Bridge Street closed. Okay, can you make it out there? Big Ben, in the distance is the London Eye. Obviously these phones are rubbish, but um, yeah, there's a lot of people on the streets. I bet there's a lot of tourists here who uh, have, still have no idea what's going on. Because obviously if you're in a foreign country, um, you don't necessarily have access to um, Wi-Fi on your phones and, you know, 24 hour a day media access. So there's probably still a lot of people here completely oblivious to, uh, to events. Which, uh, it's not a bad thing. Hopefully they're enjoying their holiday. None the wiser. Why not? Yeah, yeah, it looks like the, uh, the cordon is just here. Okay, so uh, this, I guess, I'm at the police cordon here, which is in front of Palace of, well, no, Westminster Abbey. You can get nowhere closer to the, uh, the Houses of Parliament. So you can see there, the line of police only head down into St James. From what I heard earlier, they'd evacuated some of, um, I think they'd evacuated the Palace of Westminster and uh, people were in um, 
put into the Westminster Abbey. I guess they're trying to piece together what happened. Head down here. If I uh, can go round, maybe some of the other bridges are open, maybe I can get onto one of the bridges and we'll take a look down the river. I don't know how long these live streams can go on for. It's quite a way. Or how much patience you've got walking the streets of London. There's no pause. <laughs> no editing. Oh, here we go. Loads of comments. Pub's still popular. Considering how close we are. No stopping people going to the boozer. Might evacuate the area. It's very difficult to evacuate the pub. On the edge of it here. Um, police cordon there. Police everywhere. Has a just down there. Yeah. Walk down there. Okay, if you can hear, I don't know how good the sound is on this phone. Helicopters buzzing past. More police cordons up there. Not that you can probably see them in the dark. This is actually a really dark part of London. Um, it's lit by gas lamps. Um, I think. It's I'm not sure if we're technically in one of the Royal Parks here. Um, St James's Park is there. But, uh, yeah, check out these lamps. It's not gonna help if you've been able to see my face. I'll show you. A lot of the Royal Parks, including St James's Park, are still lit by gas. Still in the, uh, still in the Victorian era there. I guess it's up to the uh, Royal Parks are owned by the, the, uh, the monarch, the Queen. So, uh, oh, that one's electric. You can tell the difference. <laughs> and then there's a gas one. Queen needs to uh, upgrade, <laughs> or maybe not. Right, I think this is the back of Downing Street.
really can't see me now. But yeah, fill me in. I think that is the, uh, behind me there, is the back end of, uh, I guess, um, Downing Street number 10, Prime Minister's uh, house. Although, I would imagine she's uh, nicely ensconced down there in MI5. Check it out. Dark, hey. It's nothing to do with this camera. It's gas lamps. It's the gas lamps. Um, no electric street light in here. I can tell the difference. I'll show you this gas lamp. See the gas there, and then you can see the uh, the statue uplit by electricity. Gas. Electricity. Yeah. When we get back out onto a normal road, which doesn't have these gas lamps. Be able to see me. Definitely a little bit quieter. Um, I don't mean in terms of the amount of people. I just mean people walking around about their business. Um, a little bit quiet. It's the sad, like I said earlier, I've sadly been here in London for a few of these att such attacks. Some far worse. And uh, the mood afterwards is always sombre. Not as the news portray it as a uh, mass panic we're walking back into electric street lighting from the gas now check it out gas the modern world electric street lighting you can see me um, yeah not the mass fear and panic and despair that the news right now will be portraying 24 hours a day it's really sadness. Okay, walk out to the mall here. Um, oh, this does look pretty quiet. Helicopters above. No cars, so uh, I guess there's a lot of road closures for cyclists. Probably pretty good for the cyclists this evening. And enjoy their commute home for once. Okay, we're on the mall, Buckingham Palace down there. Yeah, Buckingham Palace. There. Normally I get flattened doing this, walking straight across the road. No cars. This is going to be a really busy road. All I've got to do is watch out for the bikes. Yeah, check it out. Head through here, um, or Trafalgar Square in front of us, and then I'll head back, back, I'll head down to the river. I don't, I'm not sure where the police cordon extends to from uh, the Palace of Westminster, uh, but I'm guessing somewhere along the uh, Victoria Embankment. I would, I would have thought embankment, um, the tube station would be open, so maybe we can walk down here and get to embankment. I'm still in the middle of the road, let me get out of the road.
Okay. Um, roads are open again here. Uh, should get a roads closed down there. As you can see, the Houses of Parliament down there. Okay, um, looks open down towards Embankment. Uh, maybe I'll walk down Villiers Street. Um, the road's definitely closed uh, to cars though. So it's uh, Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square looks the quietest I've seen it. Let's uh, cross the road before we go down to Embankment. Not seen this. Um, it's a quiet for a long time. Is there a car? Looks like there's a car outside the uh, the National Gallery. We see police cars parked there.
Okay. Um, made it to uh, Charing Cross Station. Head down Villiers Street, and um, we will uh, and take a look at the river. I can. Uh, I can't keep up with the comments. They're scrolling so fast, and they're uh, mainly spouting religious hatred. Though, it seems. Close there, that's it. Okay, check out Villiers Street. It's still got the Christmas lights up. That means if I go up through Piccadilly. Right, yeah. The smell of food is incredible down here. A lot of the restaurants um, actually look pretty quiet this evening. Um, I guess um, a few people have um, decided to try and uh, get home as quickly as possible. Um, when events like this happen, you never really know how it's going to affect public transport, but considering public transport can be um, challenging at the best of times. Um, any disruption um, just puts pressure on the system. Um, so I guess people will try and get home as quickly as possible. We're nearly down by the river. Hey, let me know in the comments below, is this, is this what you expected on the, uh, the streets this evening? Or busier, quieter? Or panic? Um, streets look over down here. Pop for Embankment Station. Be right on the riverbank. The authorities have this thing, um, they put police at all the stations um, after events like this. Road's closed down there, check it out, we're just down there. I wonder if I can get on that. I wonder if I can get on this side of the bridge. The road closure looks like it's, uh, well, you can see after the bridge, but it's whether I can get on the steps. 
Oh yeah, this is the edge of the cordon this evening. Yeah, it looks like the bridge is open this side, which means we can get a, uh, a good view. It'll be super windy up here. It might not be out here, mate, but we can get a uh, good view <coughs> along the river to the the, uh, the Palace of Westminster, Big Ben, and Westminster Bridge. The scene of the incident earlier today. Check out the views. Look how quiet it is. Roads closed. Okay, Queen Elizabeth Bridge. Um, even the river looks closed. I've got uh, some boats with uh, police blues, blue lights flashing on it. Um, I would say it's uh, really quite quiet and peaceful. Um, I've seen so much less background noise because because of the, all the roads being shut. No traffic. That's a really busy road down there normally. and walking past and they're letting the MPs out now. Uh, they've been in there since about two or three o'clock this afternoon, locked in, well, earlier. They could have um, done Brexit by now, couldn't they? I bet they haven't. There's quite a few bars and restaurants in there. considered it an inappropriate time to do business and guarantee it. This is a long live streamer. Huh? Only my second go. Um, probably learned quite a lot from this one. Um, let's see how uh, if I uh, walk across the bridge. Helicopter buzzing above. Um, I think there's people walking right underneath the London Eye. Uh, but the police called and must extend somewhere down there because at the end of that is steps up to Westminster Bridge itself.
YouTube Live thing is going to be uh, quite useful for uh, YouTube noobs, real news, rather than uh, normal YouTube news. It's all about uh, drama and uh, other YouTubers. You have to see live what's going on around the world now. Jazz saxophone. News crews there. They're always stationary. I need mobile phones. They do have better lighting though. No. Guy's face. More news crews here. I need a better phone. iPhone 5S, not cutting it for this live feed. The other thing is, I'm not really speaking much because um, whatever I say, like today's events are tragic, and whatever I say will just be perceived as a, uh, well, People will put their own, I can already see people putting their own agendas first. Um, the comments that are flashing through in terms of religion, politics, um, whatever you say in these circumstances will just be uh, people all um, hijack it for their own agendas. Hopefully it's just giving you a, uh, a look around London this evening, check it out below the London Eye Police Cordon starts again here. The entrance to Westminster steps to uh, Westminster Bridge is just down there. Check it out, right below the London Eye. I think it's stopped, it's not. Deserted. Okay guys, how long have we been going for? 40 minutes. Whoa. Not a lot of banter either. Um, yeah, most people would have given up by now, but I can see all the uh, <laughs> the arguments going on about religion and politics. People will bang on about that for uh, eternity. <laughs> Maybe I should just stand outside the Houses of Parliament every day do live broadcast. I'll learn more than an MP.
Okay, right. So I'm going to call it a uh, an evening there. The new screws are still at it. Yeah, that's me. Love your channel. So, I'm live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, nice good. To meet you. And you? <laughs> I've, uh, did you know I was live? No. All no. oh, right. I'm in the middle of a live broadcast. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> you watch the channel? Yes. Cool. All the time. Yeah. It's good to meet you. Yeah, um, you too. I'm going to crack on with this though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, carry on. I'll watch this. Yes. Soon. <laughs> Meeting viewers. Have a good night. And you. Sorry about what happened up there earlier. Meeting viewers, live. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it um call it a night. Um, head up on the bridge. Um, give you a final view. Westminster, Big Ben. Let's go. Great views, huh? What was I saying down there? Oh yeah, a lot of those news crews down there um, were um, from different countries. Uh, different languages. I guess they get the shot of Big Ben from up here, from down there, sorry. Great views, good backdrop. Okay, right, I'm gonna call it a day here. Opposite Big Ben and the London Eye. How long have we been going for now? 45 minutes, that's long enough, eh? Uh, but yeah, not a lot of talking, is whatever I say. Um, I'll just get bombarded with comments about how insensitive it was. I can already see the, uh, the arguments scrolling up. Um, not even with what I'm saying or doing amongst each other. Yeah, people will just put their, uh, when events like this happen, people will just, um, I guess, put their own um, agendas 